What is up guys, it's yours truly, Raul TV. We're back again, Team R for you, well, let's go. And what we're doing this time around is I've got a 2011, 2012 kind of thing, Suzuki Alto, one litre petrol, and I'm gonna go ahead and replace the clutch. The full clutch assembly, let's do it, it's here. Let's go. Bye right, guys, the first thing we're gonna do is make room for ourselves. What we'll do is we'll take the battery off, dead easy, just take that off, take that off, take the battery leads off, that will come off. Right guys, we took the battery off. Next job for us now is we're gonna take the battery tray off. So basically one here, one there, one there, one there. Another one there. Take them off. This one will just lift off. This this bottle here, expansion bottle will just lift off. I wouldn't go and try taking these off because it might just break. So what you do is take the cap off. Happy days, that comes off. Oh, you can just leave it there now. Since it's there, just leave it there. It'll come off with the tray. Right, so what we do is, obviously, we take them off. They're all 10 millis. Let's go ahead and take them off. I have took all the little bolts off. They can go here, stay there if you want. Right, and as you can see now, that all that's freestyling. So all we'll do is just lift that up. Ta-da! All clear now. We can see everything. Right, come on, let's do it. Okay guys, the eagle-eyed viewers out there, which are many, I know there's many out there, you might be thinking, why have I took the ham uh, uh, the handbrake cable? Why have I took the clutch pedal uh, cable off? You know, the clutch cable, why have I took that off? The reason being is I took that off to begin with. Dead easy, obviously it hooks onto that there. Just slacken that, this one here. Obviously it comes off. Reason why is I want to check if the uh, clutch cable itself is seized up. The reason why we're changing the clutch is it's not slipping or anything, it's because the clutch pedal is rock solid hard. Okay, so you see the two things. One is the cable, as you can see, it's nice and free. Or it's the clutch pressure plate gone hard. And obviously when you press the clutch pedal down, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's rock solid basically. So that's the reason why I took the cable off to begin with, just to check it. But to take the cable off, not a big job. Slack on that, comes straight off. So that can go off, come off. There we go. What we do now is, this is optional. If you want to struggle, you can go ahead and struggle. Well, this, I'm going to take the air filter box off. That way, it will give me a little bit more, not access, I won't say access, access but you can, you can see it, you can see it clearly, you know, the gearbox, top of the gearbox and everything. Right guys, there we go. Now we've took that section of the air filter off. As you can see now, we've got nice access the bell housing bolts are there so it's a good i would recommend you go ahead and take that off you know no ifs and buts i would recommend you take it off right a few little things well we'll come to that after so what we're going to do now we're going to do a bit of plumbing we're going to take like the reverse wire off take this bracket off we'll take it off completely them two bolts here take them off it's basically shift things out of the way so we need to you know gain access to the gearbox so i'll take this pipe off this one here jubilee uh, this clip here tear that off the linkages, right, take take it off from here, okay. There's another one down there, take that one off there. I'll get to the uh, gear linkages after. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bracket off, take the pipes off, basically clear things out of the way for us, from us like so basically we'll take the switch off. We'll take the wiring move the wiring out of the way if you want to go ahead and take this pipe off you don't need to but when you take this bracket off that that pipe should move out of the way and uh yeah let's go ahead let's go ahead and do it our mission is to clear all everything from, from the top of the gearbox let's go let's do it right guys as you can see there i've took that bracket off there where the uh, cable goes through so that's out of the way it gives us a bit more room we'll get to the linkages after Sorry if I sound bunged up because uh, for some reason I've got my nose is blocked today big time and uh, coming down with this uh, with something no COVID-19 I feel absolutely fresh as a daisy don't worry about that guys all right okay what it is this wire here wiring loom here obviously that's going to get in our way as you can see there right so for some reason I didn't have the bracket there makes my life even easier right there's one little bracket there so what we do is push that little clip there push that there and then pull that back sorry so you guys push that there pull it back that should come off 
when, when, when that comes off, that loom should move out of the way. You might need to take this plug off here, that plug off there, and then that wiring loom should lift off. Happy days, let's go, let's do it. Okay guys, I've took that little bracket off from there on the, on the wiring loom, still won't come off, and still won't move, but because I've seen another one, which is down there, a little cable tie kind of thing, chop that off, or if you can, push it off, whatever, and hopefully that wiring loom should lift off, give us a bit more room. Okay guys, this wiring loom is not playing ball with us, so what we're gonna do is, as you can see, I've just about got enough room there, so I'll cable tie it up there, hopefully that should move out of the way. Next job for us is, this is the gear linkages. The reason why I'm not taking this pipe off just yet is, I'm gonna try taking that off last, basically. What's gonna happen, obviously I'm gonna tear that off, water everywhere when i go underneath the car start working under the, underneath the car drive shafts and st uh, things like that ball joints taking the things off like that i don't want to have a shower yeah so I'll try taking that off last okay so what we're doing now is i'm gonna struggle a little bit take these linkages off the way you take these linkages off is you got a little horseshoe clip there yeah flick that off that lifts off the one on this side it'll just flick off I can't really show you that one, but there is a linkage right there where my finger is. Can you see moving there? Flick that off, that comes off. First things first, let's take that horseshoe clip off, the plastic horseshoe clip, take that off, flick that one off, and we'll go from there. I'll try showing you guys that it's that little clip there, basically. Yep, try and flick it off there. This one here. Obviously, I would get two hands on this, but you don't want to lose that little clip. Right, so there you go. Can you see? I'm just taking it off there. Take that off, which is that little plastic clip. Now that should just lift straight off. Yeah, so these here, what we're going to do is this one, you could leave that one on because as you can see, I can get to the bolt there. That's the bolt I need to get to. Yeah, so I can leave that one on this cable. This cable, what we do is I've took them. Uh, the uh, cable off there, that, that horseshoe flip, took that one off there, flick that one off as well, as well. If you can just make it out there, flick that one off as well. So this one, what we do with this is we push this little thing back. You see this round bit here? We push that back there. I can't show you guys, but there, as you can see there, I'm pushing that back there. And now when I push that back, I can lift this cable off. I'll need two hands, one to push that back, one to lift, uh, lift the uh, cable off. Let's do it. Okay guys, the linkage bracket, everything is off there. As you can see, I've tied it up with a cable tie onto the side there. Right, I can't delay this any longer. And um, I just have to sacrifice. What it is, I'm gonna send, obviously, I'm gonna take this pipe off. Take this pipe off. And uh, if I go underneath the car and have a shower and everything, so be it. So, uh, <laughs> what can we do? We need to gain access to the bell house and everything. And these pipes are getting in my way. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take them off. That's the best thing, I mean, yeah, let's do it. Okay guys, I've took the pipes off. Like I said, I had to take them off. I know we've got water and coolant all over the show, but we'll clean that up after. Right, what we're gonna do now is, everything has been taken off here, except for the bell housing bolts and the starter bolts. So what we'll do is, I don't think, yeah, there's one starter bolt on the top here. That right, we'll take that off, yeah. Right, so there's one bell housing bolt here. It's very unbelievable, it's so hard, so hard to show you guys, but it's, believe me, it's there. Let's see if I can get the camera in there, I can't get the camera in there, but one is there, oh, hold my finger, straight in, no, it's there, I can see it from there, just about there, that one there, another one, there, and that's it, two on the top, one starter bolt, take them off, let's go, let's do it. All right, guys, everything is done on the top. I'm gonna to run through it one last time. Took the battery off, battery tray off, half of the air filter box off, linkages off, linkage bracket off, that, them two pipes, water pipe, one here, one going across there, they're off. As you can see, that's the wiring loom. Took it off from that down there, took this one off here, took this one off here, them little clips, and cable tied it onto that there. That's okay. Bell housing bolts are off. Starter bolt, one of the starter bolts on the top's off. That's it. Um, the mountain, this is a good one. We, we don't need to take anything off from the top on the mountain. We can do that from the bottom. Happy days. What we'll do now, we'll send it up and we'll tackle the bottom. 
Right guys, as you can see, I've set the car up on the ramp, took the wheel off, dead easy, forward. Well, you can't, I'm not gonna show you how to take that off. Right, I'm gonna take this cover off on the side. We're underneath, we're gonna take the drive shafts off. The ball joint, if the ball joint doesn't come off from there, it starts spinning. Another trick is take the caliper off, take them two bolts off, the shocker bolts. It will, le it will lean forward and that should give you enough room to take the uh, drive shaft off. Same on this side as well. And um, nothing else underneath. There's not even a cent to stabilize the mounting. Oh, actually there is, but it's up there. But that, that doesn't matter, we'll get to that after. Uh, we're gonna take the bell housing bolts off, take this pipe off and we'll go from there. Right guys, that pipe is out of the way. I've just put it on the side. You don't need to take the full pipe off because the radiator side is stuck solid. So you don't want to go messing that up, break the neck of the radiator and everything. Don't mess about there, just leave it to a side. Happy days. Right, before we take the drive shafts off completely, my bad, I should have just mentioned it. Right, drain plug right here, drain the gear oil. Filler plug is, well, I'll show you when we come to fill it, I'll show you where the filler plug is, but it's, it's up there. Can't really miss it, right there. There's the drain plug, let's drain the oil, let's go. Right, oil has been drained out guys, there it is. Clean that up after. What we're doing now, to take the drive shafts off, not, not a rocket science. We need, I need two hands literally to hold it properly and everything, but all we do is just give it a little pry there. If it doesn't come off with the pry, from this side, give it a little tap with the hammer on the pry bar, that should come straight off. Well, my brother will demonstrate, I'll do the filming. That's it, like that, just like that. And then fall over. Toby Cooper. <laughs> right, sit rep guys. I've took the driver side drive shaft off, okay? If you, I'm in the UK and I've took the driver side drive shaft off. If it, it might be different in other countries, but I'm in the UK, okay? So I'm gonna help you guys out big time, okay? You don't need to take the rear mounting off, okay? The stabilizer mounting, don't need to take that, take that off. All you need to do is take that bolt off, which goes in the gearbox, take the bellowsy bolt off, which is there, and the starter motor bolt, which is up there. There, as you can see it there. But the thing is, you need a ratchet spanner to take that off. Crack it with a normal spanner and ratchet spanner to take that off. That's the farthest I can take it off. So what I'm gonna do is, when I take the gearbox off, I'm gonna take the bolt off at the same time. Okay? So that way it'll give me a bit more room to get the spanner in there. As you can see, I can't get the spanner in there now. Right, I've took all the bellowsy bolts off. This one off, this one off. Left that one on, that's the last one. Mountain's gonna come off now. One, two, three. Take them three bolts off. And we'll get a, a lift to hold the gearbox up, uh, to hold the engine up. And that's about it, guys. Right, guys, we have sent the car back down because I'm going to take this mounted off. I'm not going to take it off from here, leave all that on. I'm going to take this top bolt off. This one goes there, take that off, and then we'll send it up, take the bottom ones off. Right, I know I mentioned take this one off, this one off, and this one off, but you don't have to because it'll be a lot easier if we just take this one off and this one off, we took the top one off, the whole thing comes off. If you, if then after you want to take these off, you can do, if you want, you can crack them now, take them off, then obviously that will be out of the way, and then you've got more room. Uh, but you don't have to, you can leave them on, just take them two off. Right, let's do it. As you can see there, it's separated now, the gearbox is separated from the uh, engine, and uh, let's do it, let's take it off. There we have it guys. Gearbox is off. I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. If you're attempting it on the floor, I know I said it's an easy job to do it on the floor. Not easy. Because to take it out, if you're doing it on the floor, it's a, it's a tight squeeze, okay? Because of the subframe here, right? But if you are attempting it, just be careful. Right, here's the clutch. That's what we're changing. One, two, three, four, five, six. 12 milli bolts. Let's take them off. Let's do it. Guys, there we have it, the new clutch, right? Make sure you try the, uh, the center plate onto the shaft before you go fitting it. Uh, another thing is the, the lever, the fork, make sure it's nice and free. As you can see there, the common problem with these, they get seized up and even by changing the clutch, won't, it won't do anything for you. So make sure that's nice and free, get some double D40, nice and free, yeah? Okay. As for the clutch, just fit it in reverse order. I'm gonna bang it on there first. Right, leave it loose, and then I'm gonna line it up. The way to put this clutch on is obviously get all the bolts on one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, make sure they're on finger tight. And two ways to do it one is you get the clutch lining up tool, put it into there, lines it up. Happy days. If you haven't got the clutch lining up tool, you get your fingers in there, as you can see there. Make sure you marry it up nicely there, and on there, and on there. 
and all three corners are nicely lined up okay with the pressure plate and the friction plate lined up okay um, like I said I've been doing it for like past 20 years so I've got I, I, I don't really use the tool I just go off feel uh, but if you've got the tool that will help you out I think I've got the tool in there somewhere I'll just show you what, what it looks like basically it's just that something like that go straight in there it'll go into the spigot ring and everything and then line everything up and then you can just go ahead and tighten these up tighten these up right but if you haven't got the tool just get your fingers in there in there and in there make sure it's nice and married up and that's it go ahead and tighten these up let's do it all right guys gearbox is on bell housing bolt one is on here i'm gonna get all the bell housing bolts on this one this one this one that mountain is going back on my brother's just tightening that bolt up what it is guys i'll be straight up honest with you that mountain the rear mountain i would go ahead and take that off because to get that starter bolt back on let me see if i can just right to get that starter bolt back on it was a little bit of a mission because i had to my brother had to hold the gearbox in place while i put the bolt on and then on top of that to tighten it up it was really really hard because it was going in millimeter at a time so best thing to do just take that rear mounting off it's not that hard take one bolt here two bolts on this side the main bolt going through it and you'll you'll see another two bolts in there i know it's a few bolts to take off and it'll, they might be tight and everything but in the long run it'll be easy for you because to get that top starter bolt on it, it's hard right so that's that we've got it on we struggled a little bit but we've got it on i'm going to finish it off now reverse order get the drive shafts on get the ball joints on and uh, basically get the oil in and that's about it for the bottom okay guys i've got all the drive shafts on the drive shaft is on as you can see there bellows and bolts are on on the bottom everything everything is done underneath uh, except for putting the oil in right, i've come to the top here now i put the top bellows and bolt on which is there the starter bolt is on which is there the bottom starter bolt is loose it's hand tight so don't go tightening that up just yet i've just tightened that one up so now i can go uh, send it up and tighten the bottom uh, bell housing bolt right so this bell housing bolt is tight okay that's done what i'm gonna do now is put the linkage bracket on all everything is reverse order basically guys linkage brackets on the pipes on the the uh, what is it the uh, cable bracket on and uh, the battery tray battery everything in reverse order let's go let's do it all right guys that's it everything everything is done here put the battery back on battery tray back on i've topped it up with coolant water all the pipes are on linkages are linkages are on the cables back on the clutch cables back on everything is done here i'm just going to send it back up top it up with uh, not top it up fill it up with uh, oil gear oil that is atf and i'm gonna uh, tighten that starter bolt remember that starter bolt we tightened the top one up but we didn't tighten the bottom one up so let's tighten that up and that's it just fi finish it off reverse order let's do it right guys as for refilling the gear oil or the atf i would recommend you fill it up with uh, atf i think that's the best thing automatic transmission fluid is strong stronger than normal gear gear oil so yep i would say atf all we do is take that allen key plug off which is there on this side that's the plug the sump plug well the gear refilling plug it's a square torx head okay it's the same size as a 3 8 i think 3 8 uh, socket head one minute yeah you could use a you could use a 3 8 socket head you know the 3 8 uh, ratchet just use that might be a little bit loose but that should come off okay and all we do is get a squeezy bottle and just fill it up there when 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 the gear oil starts coming out that, that means it's topped up all done dusted right come on let's do it that's it guys the car is running just gonna re-top it up with water coolant and everything and uh, that's it all done dusted that's how we replace the clutch i know some of the bolts not some bolts i couldn't show you properly because obviously i can't get the camera in there properly and everything so i hope i explained it as best i can and yeah if you're doing it outside under on the jack of the jack trolley jacks and stuff like that make sure you just take that back mounting off 
because to take the starter bolt off really hard like I mentioned before. That's it guys, that's how we replace the, uh, the clutch on a 2010, 11, 12 kind of thing, Suzuki Alto, uh, 1 litre petrol. Hope that helps you guys out. Uh, like, share and subscribe, all I'm going to say is like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you get stuck, leave it in the comment section. I'll try to help you guys out. And yeah, and I'll see you guys soon.